In this tutorial, we will look at a workflow to bring GIS data into a CAD-based program. I will also show you two ways to bring CAD-based data back into a GIS environment so that the data is properly aligned and projected on a base map. First, we need to acquire data that we will use in our workflow. I have downloaded a data set from the City of Victoria's Open Data website. As you can see, the city provides contour data at 1 meter intervals, and also building footprints and heights. I have downloaded these datasets to demonstrate the GIS to CAD workflow. Here, I have started a new session in ArcMap. Through the Add Data button, I can add in my downloaded datasets. I am also going to add in a base map to ensure that the data is formatted correctly and properly aligned. We can see that the data sits correctly. When I right click on one of the data layers that I have added, go to Properties, and then click on the Source tab, we can see that the data is projected in a NAD 1983 CSRS UTM Zone 10N format. This projection is also using a metered measurement system. This information is important to know for later on when we bring our data from CAD and back into GIS. Note that this projection is only useful on the specific geography and data type that I have brought into the scene. This NAD 1983 UTM Zone 10N location will not correctly display data in other areas of Canada. Generally, good data will name the projection system or geographic coordinate system in a metadata description or readme file that is attached to the data. I am now going to export the contour data and building footprints to CAD format. I can do this by right-clicking on my dataset and selecting Data, Export to CAD. The Export to CAD tool lets me add in multiple layers from my table of contents, so I will click on the drop-down button and select my buildings file as well. For output type, I find it is best to use an older CAD format in order to ensure compatibility across multiple CAD programs. I have chosen Drawing Format 2004. The output file path will be the location and name of the drawing file once it has been exported. Once I have filled in all relevant information, I can click OK and my drawing file will be created. Now I can switch into a CAD-based program to view my data. For this example, I am using Rhino as my preferred CAD-based program. I am going to open the data that we just exported, and we will see that our data displays correctly in the screen. The CAD system has even recognized the elevation data values and has translated the data into 3D space. I am now able to work with this line work as I normally would with any CAD dataset. Now that I have modified my CAD data, I want to bring this data back into a GIS environment that I can perform a GIS analysis and build up a map. To do this, I am going to export my data to a basic CAD format such as a drawing file again. Once this is completed, I will start up a new map session in ArcMap. The first thing I want to do is add in a base map by clicking on the drop down next to the Add Data button. I will add in a topographic base map so that I can ensure that the data I will be importing is properly aligned on the world map. Next, I will add in the DWG file that I just exported. After adding in this data, a warning pops up saying that the data source that I have added is missing spatial reference information. If I click OK and then right click on the data and select Zoom to Layer, you can see that the data is showing up on the map, but it is floating in the middle of the ocean. This is because ArcMap has read the data correctly, but a projection file is missing. This projection file is what tells ArcMap where to place the data on the world map. I will need to reproject the data that I have just added. First, I will export my CAD data into a shapefile to convert the data back into a GIS format. You will see that the CAD data has been imported as a group made up of multiple layers or points, lines, and polygons. Since I only brought in contour data, I only need to export my polylines, so I will right-click on the file and choose Data, 
export to create a shapefile of my imported contour lines. Next, if I click on Windows Search and type Define Projection into the search box, I can access a tool that allows me to reassign a projection file to my contour line shapefile. By clicking on the box next to Coordinate System, I have the ability to browse or search for coordinate systems. As you will remember from earlier in this video, the data that we initially downloaded from the City of Victoria was created in NAD 1983 CSRS UTM Zone 10N, so I will search for UTM to make my search a bit easier. Once I have found the correct projection system, I can click OK. We can see that the data is now sitting back in the right place on the map. It's possible when working in a CAD system that I will accidentally move my data back to the 0, 0 grid origin that most CAD systems use to start a drawing. If this is the case, I will need to manually align my CAD data back to the correct place on the map. First, I will add my data to my map data frame and export the polylines to a shapefile. Then I will define the projection to a known projection of my data. In this case, NAD83 CSRS UTM Zone 10N. When I zoom into the data, you can see that it is not properly aligned with the map. I will have to run a spatial adjustment to correct this problem. First, I need to ensure that my editor toolbar and spatial adjust toolbars are showing. If they are not, I can right click on my empty toolbar space to enable them. Next, I start an editing session. Then I will start my spatial adjustment. First, I need to set the data to be adjusted. I will choose to adjust all data in my contour layer. Next, I need to choose the adjustment method. I will choose Transform Similarity. If you are interested to learn more about the different transformation methods, refer to the help contents in ArcMap. Now I need to create a series of displacement links. These are reference points that I will pick that my data will try to align itself to. In order to speed up this process, I am going to create two bookmarks so that I can easily switch between views of where my data is currently lying and where it is supposed to be positioned. You generally need at least three displacement points in order to properly align the data. After creating these points, click Adjust. Your data should be closely aligned to the map, but you may need to run the tool again to improve the data's alignment accuracy.
This completes the tutorial on taking data from a GIS environment into a CAD-based environment and then bringing the data back into GIS for later analysis. In the next tutorial, we will perform a flood analysis on the contour data that we have just brought back into ArcMap.